While many pets can survive in outdoor temperatures, the single digits on thermometers this week can put any domesticated animal at risk. They are prone to frostbite. Both cats and dogs can get frostbite on their ears, their paws, the tip of their tail. Um, I guess a big concern is that animals that are living outside or dogs that are forced to live outside, even if they have a dog house, in these extreme temperatures, they, they could die within hours. Just like a person, animals cannot withstand the cold. So during this frigid weather, keep trips outside short. If you feel the need to physically walk your dog like down the road, when you come back in, clean their paws. They can pick up residue from the salt that's put down um, on the roads. They can also get little ice balls stuck in between their pads, which is painful to walk on, and they need to be cleaned and taken out also. Puppies, older dogs, and cats should not be left outdoors when temperatures fall below 40 degrees. For dogs that primarily live outside, officials say it's in their best interest to bring them in. If you're concerned about the dog getting in your house, whether it's having accidents or doing something naughty like chewing on something it shouldn't chew on, you can go purchase a dog cage or lar a large cape or airline carrier, bring the dog in and house it in the carrier for a couple days. As long as it has food and water, bedding in the cage, you can take it outside and, and leash walk it. It would be a lot safer in a home than outside freezing to death. If that's not an option, then provide a protective shelter. Keep it elevated off frozen ground and facing away from the weather with a flap on the entrance. Also add blankets, straw, or wood chips for comfort and warmth. If you notice a pet without shelter, call police immediately. What happens then is a police officer will come out, will check on the dog, confirm that, you know, if it is in danger, if it's if it's cold, if it's shivering, if it doesn't have proper shelter, proper food, water, that type of stuff, then we take the dog into custody. If police find your pet deprived of any necessary provisions, you could face animal cruelty charges. Officer Miller says the best thing to do is bring your animals inside until these record low temperatures pass. For News 11, I'm Erica Blatt.